Hey guys, um, it's here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a character in Android. Now, in previous Unity, before Unity 5, uh, making a character in Android is pretty easy because it has a prefab uh, which has a build or, or, or a prefab with every components you need just to make the character move now Unity 5 is quite different I'm going to tell you how to make a moving character um, just to make a new project just called moving characters and don't forget to add a cross platform input and the characters done then create a project All right, now we are in game. After all the booting or all the loading, I'm going to make a simple, simple terrain, 3D object terrain, and just move this to negative 250 and negative 250. Next, I will be moving the lights because it's too bright as you can see so I just want to make this too visible alright that should be good enough I'll probably add some texture uh, be right back alright so I've imported some uh, a new a new texture now it may look familiar yes it's from my previous how to make a door in Android um, using the same assets because uh, so we can see the terrain easier let's make this two, five, two and two there we go all right next what we're going to do is if we have to change this to build setting don't forget to change this to android or, or it wouldn't work so now switch platform so we can test uh, all the gui for android in game because if you don't set this switch platform it won't show the gui so let's just give it some time to load or just or give it some time to switch the platform okay so it's done what we're going to do next is go to player setting uh, change, um, change the other setting the bundle identifier so I'm just going to name the company to test and the product name to test too so we can build this into our Android and going to save the scene as scene okay now you're ready to add the characters in okay first go to your assets down here on the hierarchy or, or the project not hierarchy on the project uh, press the assets standard assets right here um, characters first person controller prefab and bring FPS control controller yeah FPS controller now remove the main camera because we have the character camera and then go to your cross platform input prefab and then find a dull touch input or dull touch control now drag this dual touch to your fps controller so your dual touch is the child of the fps controller next is game object ui and then event system drag your event system to the fps controller thus making the event system the child of the fps controller now everything should work fine before that we're going to go to build setting player cell setting resolution and presentation auto rotation remove or untick the portrait so now we're done i'll show you guys what that what it's what does it looks like on android so be right back also make sure you save the scene and and let's start building it so yeah now in my android um so this is what it looks like you can jump you can move around uh, you can look around like normally 
also it has a sound but my in recording doesn't record internal sound so yeah the white dots is enabled on the developer mode so it's not from unity so that's for this tutorial and i'll see you guys later goodbye